Hello and welcome to a new video with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and today I want to show you how I took a simple self portrait and edited it in Photoshop. Photography one is another of my great passions uh, besides Photoshop. And on the past couple of weeks, I started to see lots of videos and images of self portraits and stuff like that. And I started to try some of them on my on my own. And I started to enjoy it. Actually, I really started to enjoy doing this kind of stuff. And I wanted to start publishing some videos on how I took some of my self portraits. And I want to share with you some of the ideas that I have. Now I'm not great at this. I'm not the best one in the world, but I have some ideas which I think some of you could try or maybe would be interested in trying and maybe come up with your own ideas. Who knows? And today I want to show you how I did this really simple self portrait with a simple mirror that I have on my house. One of the things that I like about this is that when, especially when you're making indoor photography or self portraits is that you're limited. You're, you're challenging yourself to use really, uh, at least in my case, because I don't have like a huge mansion, um, is to take uh, images on uh, small spaces with limited light conditions, even though I have a softbox and flashes and all that uh, kind of stuff, it's limited because um, the, sp the space, the physical space is, is a lot less than outdoors, even though I have some ideas to make some outdoors images. So, um, for this particular image, if you want to try it, I'm no, I don't want to go into uh, technical details on what lens to use or what um, ISO, stuff like that, that's really up to you. You can, you can even do this with a mobile phone, actually. Uh, you just need, one, one of the things that you would uh, need is a tripod or some sort of stabilizer because, um, because it's, it's a lot easier for you to do it, uh, especially if you're alone, and like in my case, I had to use a timer on my camera, but if you have someone to help you, you can you can do it with someone else. Uh, with your phone, you can do this uh, perfectly uh, perfectly fine because uh, nowadays most phones have great resolution, and for Instagram and social media, the images they're going to take are will will be just fine. So, a couple of tips if you want to try this idea. Obviously, you need a mirror. And the first important tip is to have a context. In the image that you see, I will put it here on the screen, you will see that I just, I just have the mirror and I don't have too much room around it. Uh, that's because I have, like, as I said, re really limited space and it almost looks like I have two images of myself cropped and put them uh, one on top of the other, which essentially is what it is. But if you have a context where the viewer can see that this is actually a mirror and that's the reflection of yourself in the mirror and that in, and not just a manipulation that will be a lot uh, a lot better so include take like a wider shot and let the viewer see that this is actually a mirror inside of your house and you that it's a reflection of the mirror and not an image of yourself which you just pasted there on top of it the second, the second um, tip is here you will need two images, the reflection on the mirror and yourself, in my case, looking back at the camera. The first image that you take, ref the reflection on the mirror, make sure you don't show up in the frame. Uh, in other words, make sure you just photograph the reflection in the mirror. And that will make a lot easier, uh, that will be a lot easier for you to mask later in Photoshop and I will show you why. And the second image you can stand a lot closer to the mirror and you will see that I will just show you why, why in just uh, in just a second. One other cool idea, cool idea and if uh, I will try it right now <laughs> actually, is the reflection on the mirror I will probably use a longer shutter speed and kind of move my head and have it blurred and uh, the second image would be the one that I, uh, where I look back on the camera and see how it works and if it may be, well, maybe it's not even going to work, we'll see. If I come up with something cool, I will just uh, post uh, that image at the end of the video. So let's jump into Photoshop, show you really quick how I edited this because it's really simple and uh, that way you can see how you can do this yourself. So after several attempts, I ended up with this four or five images. I actually, in total, I took like 30 or 40. And this is what I meant when I said 
you stay out of the frame when you take the first image. So the, this is the, the first image of the reflection. Uh, it doesn't matter if you just uh, cover part of your mirror, but if it's better if you actually stay out of the frame entirely. As you can see, as I said, I have little room here, so I couldn't uh, include much of the of the background. But even so, I shouldn't have cropped this part. But anyways, so I took a few images of the reflection with different uh, uh, poses. And actually, if you crop yourself, right, you can see here, if you actually crop yourself, that would maybe even better be better. So I ended up using these images. So this is the first image of the reflection. You can see I'm covering part of it, but it doesn't really matter. This will be the, the base layer, and then I will overlay this other image. You can see here I stood a lot closer, so uh, here I will just use this part of myself. I just use the same um, the same edits on them. Make sure you have the same lighting, obviously, on both of them. And now I'll open them in Photoshop, and I'll copy this image and paste it on top of the other one. Just select both of them, and now we'll align them. Just go to Edit and choose align layers automatically leave this on auto and click ok and you can see now photoshop align both images and i'll just really quickly crop this on the first image which is this one i'll create the layer mask and use a really quick the well the quick selection tool to make a really quick selection and fill this with black and then we'll have to invert this and invert layer mask and actually i'll also include this part over here so just use white to make sure i get rid of that and there you go now the mask here obviously could be better so i'm just going to use the the white here to okay that's why i said that you you better not overlap yourself too much on the mirror otherwise when you paint you will start to to see the other image which is not good because you want to have some safety um, separation in there see that here it's going it's going to be a little more a little trickier so let's use a smaller brush and I'll make a really quick straight line and that's it with black not with white so you can see I'm losing my the hairs of my arm but anyways so that's how I edited this image in Photoshop really quick and I think it's pretty interesting. So as you can see it's really simple, just a simple mask and that's it. The fun part of this is taking uh, the actual images and setting everything up and I spent like half an hour taking these images because I had these uh, problems as I said uh, standing to until I figured out where I should stand to to have it easier for me in Photoshop to mask it took a few times, a few tries and a few attempts, which was really funny. That being said, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really simple image. Expect more videos like this from me. I try to keep them short and just give you the idea. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on my next video.